Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Cody Toads, and welcome back to the last episode of the series. So, this is the first series I've ever created. So, basically, this is the last episode of the first series on this YouTube channel. And basically, we are gonna be doing the finishing, the finishing touches of our Airbnb website. So, what I mean by that, I mean is that you can see this logo here. It's actually a link. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that. Um, I'm gonna probably add some hover effects for these links. I know that it's not like this for here, but still a nice touch to have. And, um, yeah, I, I, and actually I'm gonna also add, um, a little icon on the head, like uh, this one over here. So yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. And, but actually, hold on a second. Um, before we begin, I want to thank you all so much for... 124 subscribers that's what we're currently at and that's an amazing milestone when I first started I thought that I'd never get more than 20 to be fair and after two weeks I got up to 50 and then after a month I got up to 100 and now I'm at 124 and I don't, I don't have that much videos on my channel but I'm really working hard to provide really good content and um, what I mean by good content is that I want to teach you a lot of cool stuff that you can do with HTML and CSS and in the next series I'm going to add in some JavaScript and um, after the next series I'm going to start a series where I teach you HTML from the beginning, CSS from the beginning and JavaScript from the beginning. So currently I'm just showing you how to use them and I'm not really teaching you I'm just showing you how to use your knowledge. But I'll, in the future, hopefully, in like, February, I'm going to teach you, um, actually, the main uh, web development um, languages. So yeah, I hope you guys are hi uh, <laughs> excited for that. And um, also, if you want to download this web um, this website, if you want to get the folder to it, just contact me. My email is my in my info page at my youtube channel and uh, the about um tab and you can go ahead and check it out you're just gonna mail me and i'm gonna send you it you don't even really need to give me a reason why i'll give it to anyone basically if you want to use it but yeah so um let's get right into the tutorial and uh, so the first thing i want to do is i want to add a little icon so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and search for airbnb icon or logo actually airbnb logo okay i found it here so i'm going to save this image and i'm going to save it as um where was it? Airbnb as let's see this. Uh, logo. Um, yeah, logo dot iso. That's what I have to save it as. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it in with Photoshop. So let me just find this. I'm gonna open it with Photoshop. And I'm gonna crop it since I, w I don't want the white margins on the side. So I'm gonna go to our cropping tool and basically I'm just gonna crop it out max maximum. Just like this. And I am actually currently kind of sick, so I'm really sorry if I'm like heavy bleeding or my voice is a little bit weird. Okay, so I think this is pretty good enough. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna quit Photoshop. So now let's put it in our HTML. So let me just minimize this. Um, the code is I'm just gonna paste it in because I don't really know it. Um, let me just change this. I don't really know it because. Oh no! What? Hold on. I need to change this to dot iso, not dot png. You dot iso. So I can open it up. Yes, I can. Um, 
because I've actually never had to use it since actually I did use it but then I forgot the code so yeah it works perfectly so basically the code is uh, link rel shortcut icon type image I think you, I, I don't think you have to do that type I mean I'm just gonna delete it works perfectly but if I remove the rel it's not gonna work oh, actually it does wait oh what okay um but I'm just gonna type in the rel just in case Maybe if it's dot ISO, it automatically recognizes it. But just to be sure, I'm gonna leave it real shortcut icon. Um, actually, I think it's only icon, but it's okay. Uh, so the next thing I want to work on, oh, sorry about this, is this. I want to make this into a link. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go on my index. I'm gonna find the logo, the image source, the image logo, and I'm gonna wrap it around in a link. Let me just see this slash a and a href index.html since I want this to go to the page. So now when I click it, it's now a link. I wanna I wanna do the same for the Airbnb thing. So I guess I could wrap it around in a link. Let me just try this. Out. Yeah, actually that works perfectly. So I'm just basically we're gonna wrap around. I mean you can change this from a paragraph to a link, but either way works. As you can see, it's pretty good actually. So yeah, whatever you choose. So the last and final thing, basically, I guess this is gonna be a short tutorial, but the last thing I want to do is I want to add a little hover effect to the to these buttons so they have a class of nav links uh, yes uh, nav links so let me just do command I don't know why did I close my CSS I want to search for nav links on um, nav links and I'm just gonna do nav links hover and color of thing gray. Wait, what? Um, I have no idea what just happened. Nav links. Over color of dim gray. Maybe I didn't see something. Mm, uh, maybe a little bit lighter gray, like light gray. Light gray. Oh no. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go to color-heads.com. And I'm gonna look for A7, A7, A7. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a hex color so that means pound sign eight seven eight seven eight seven yeah yeah that looks pretty good enough now maybe I'm gonna do an an active um case active and I'm just gonna do doing great so now when I hover over it and when I click on it it changes color which is not, not really necessary. I guess I just like it like this. Yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it like this. Now I'm not gonna change to become a host. But actually, <laughs> congratulations. You have a website. And actually, it's a professional website. It's not really responsive or it doesn't really, you can't really use the, um, the search bar. But you do have a website, so congratulations, and uh, yeah, this was the very last tutorial of this series, and I hope you guys enjoyed it so much, I hope you guys enjoyed the whole series um, so much that you actually, you're actually actually going to subscribe to my channel and like the video and pr probably even share it with your friends or family, and again, if you want to 
get the download link, uh, not the download link, the, the folder of this website, just contact me, my email is in my YouTube channel, in the About tab. So, um, I want to thank you all again for all the support, I really appreciate when you guys comment on that I've done a really good job, or if you have a question, also make sure to leave it in the comment section below, because I'm gonna answer every single question, basically. And actually, I'm gonna allow myself to show you something, this is my email. I go I have a special section called mail to coding tut so um I got all I got not a really a lot of mail but all of them in all of them it says thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much um uh no that's actually me and that's uh <laughs> that's my response but in every single mail I get um, it says that you guys enjoy my videos, which is really important to me since I only do it for you guys. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, that's exciting because I know I haven't been uploading all that much uh, so lately, but stay tuned because in the next series we're gonna be creating a responsive website. So hope you guys are hyped about that. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure teaching you and. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you liked this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. And uh, you can always share your video with your family and friends. And I hope you guys actually do. So yeah, it's been a pleasure teaching guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.